Hey guys, Baby Vic here with a vlog. It's vlog time again. Welcome back to the vlog. Hallelujah, it's a vlog. Um, yeah, we're doing a vlog. Um, vlog number 29? I don't know. We're going to pull up a comment in a minute, so I'll find out. Uh, vlog number 29, the excitement. Um, got a lot to cover today, so uh, let me get my vlog notes out um what have we got so what are we vaping on we are vaping on raspberry mf in donut um on the velocity and the segeli fu chai i've said it before i'll say it again in wattage mode uh between 50 and 120 watts this is a beast of a mod i love it i love the screen love the way it feels in the hand i think it looks quite dashing with a velocity on top And all that good stuff. So, let's just get into it. Um, should we do viewer comments first? Let's have a look. Loading it up. Okay, so, 1500 views in the previous vlog and. Uh, Lots of comments as well, so we'll get into the comments if that's all right. Yeah, we'll do the comments first, and then we'll crack on. Um, so, 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 uh, the previous topic in the previous, the topic of the previous vlog, the vlog topic of the previous vlog, was, um, what's your favourite RDA of all time and why? Um, and so it'd be interesting what uh, what uh, people put. Um, the top comment, and I don't know if that's because it's got a couple of thumbs up, is the Cloudy Vape. Uh, Joe Cloudy, my partner in podcast, uh, Joe Cloudy. Uh, he's put, Vicky is all poorly, all poorly, all poorly, all powerly. Kisses. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, thanks for that, Joe. Yeah, I was a bit under the weather in the previous pod. Almost better now, pretty much. Um, it's going around, it's going around, isn't it? Um, I think the reason he put that was because he likes the way um, me, or maybe all British people, say um, poorly. Poorly as in ill. Um, ill, poorly, you know what I mean. So he just likes saying that word, I think. Um, M. Lee said, good and enjoyable blog, blog. Uh, thank you to you. Uh, Dennis Conroy says, a great vlog Vic, I think the week in review phone video worked fine, keep doing them, my favourite RDA is the dot com, super deep juice well and great flavour, it does look like a good vape the dot com, uh, I haven't actually had a go on one myself but I know the other vaping Vic is a huge fan of uh, the dot com RDA, so fair play. Um, thank you for commenting, Dennis. Um, in terms of those um, life videos things, there's very much a test. I now know how the software on my phone works, so I feel like I've nailed it now, and I feel like those life videos will actually be quite nice, nice little inserts in the vlog. Speaking of which, we've got an insert of um, the Yorkshire Vapor Me. I went to the Yorkshire Vapor Me last Saturday, um, and so I've got a two-minute video to show in this vlog of that. And I've got a two-minute uh, video for the live video as well. So two video inserts that'll stick into this vlog as well. Uh, so that's quite good. Um, Will Boy enjoyed the montage as well. Um, again, Steve Williams, he liked the montage thing as well. Uh, 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 uh. Darko... Um, Djokovic I'm sorry I've got that wrong but Darko something of itch um, I just recently got my first two RTAs and still no RDA hope to get one greetings from Serbia um, thank you for watching all the way from Serbia and uh, yeah give an RDA a world give if you've managed to build RTAs you'll have no trouble on an RDA and I just think it, it might seem like a massive faff to you if you've never dripped before but um, I also think you might be pleasantly surprised about how the vape is, you know. I remember people sort of like guesstimating that um, 
Drippy might die out now there's so many sub tanks and maybe it is slightly less popular but the people that were already dripping <laughs> are just not going to stop because the vape is so damn good when you drip. I am back on my dripping like mad at the moment. I'm dripping exclusively every night now. While watching the telly, driving the wife mental with the clouds. Um, but yeah. Um, Edwin Yule says, um, Edwin Yule uh, regularly sends me news to talk about in the podcast and the vlog. So thank you, especially to you, Edwin, and thank you for commenting. He's put a good vlog once again. And I'm wondering, are you planning to on going to the Yorkshire Vapors first meet um, in Leeds? And yes, and the video is in here. Um, were you there, Edwin? If you were, did, did, if, if you were there, did you say hi to me? Um... Anyway, yeah, uh, were you there? Were you there, Edwin? Co comment in this video. Were you there? I was there. Yeah, and you'll see in this vid. Um, the IPv3 was supposed to be firmware upgradable, but the only update they ended up doing was an update to the 165 watts from 150. My favorite RDA. I don't actually own it, but I love the look of the Glacier V2. My Plume Veil vale clone was my favorite until the center post started to get loose on me. Um, I would probably love the authentic plume veil, but it's just too expensive for me to get. That's from G Rizzle. Um, yes, that's true. The IPv3 was supposed to be, but they only ever did one update on it. Uh, I think that's because they were talking about this. Got this uh, bad boy to review. This IPv5, uh, and they said they definitely are going to be doing updates for this. So that'll be interesting. Speaking of which as well, the Inican Cortex is going to have an update soon uh, which allows stainless steel temp vaping. So that's very exciting for me as well because the Cortex is awesome in temperature mode. So, so that's exciting for me. Um, Inkitatus has put my favourite RDA. That's tricky. Um, Aeolus, Sapor, Vector, Aeronaut. Um, 30 something quid for a UK made authentic, outstanding build quality and pretty much infinitely variable airflow. Um, he's talking about the Aeronaut there. That is a cracking looking RDA. Um, superb flavour, huge clouds when you're using both air tubes and nice restricted tasty lung hits with the bottom air shut off uh, highly recommended so a big thumbs up from Inkitatus for the Aeronaut RDA um, who else have we got uh, James Everett has said the Velocity, the Snapdragon and the Nada RDAs are worthy of a mention. Uh, we'll consider them mentioned. James, cheers. Um, Ida, Terpen. Are you guys just making up your surnames to make life hard? Um, Ida, Terpinion. Terpinion? Ida, Napin. I Ida Terpinion. Ida Terpinion says, I like your vlogs. <laughs> they are funny. Uh, congrats to all the lucky ones who won. Uh, yep, congrats to those people doing another giveaway in this video. Um, Brandon Christian says, I just got into RDAs and I bought older ones on sale during the holidays. I like my UDW7 the most, I think. Been looking to pull the trigger on some new RDAs, but I haven't. Uh, and then he goes on to say he likes the montage and stuff. Um, if you still have it, I wouldn't mind seeing how that brass RDA looks on that bigger wooden Tesla 160 watt. I don't still have that mod, unfortunately. I uh, don't know where it went. Um, be a giveaway or something, or a friend. Um, uh, how would it look on a wooden mod? Probably quite dope. Probably quite dope. Um, so sorry about that. I don't have it to show you on there. I've currently got it on the RX200. I don't know if you think that looks good or not. Um, but it fits in, uh, quite nice. Um, I sanded down the 510 a little bit so it fitted flush. Uh, but I've got it on there now. 
Uh, so I don't know what you think about that. Obviously it's designed to go on that tube mod that comes with it. Uh, Chris Truth Seeker, where is the IPv5 bit please? Ah, Chris, I'm so sorry. Um, it's right at the end of the previous vlog and it was only a passing statement. And I've got one now though, so if you still, if you haven't unsubscribed yet, um, I, I've got a review really soon for the IPv5, so please stay stay around um one more comment one more comment um bob w says and this is quite a good comment to finish on bob w says uh only two rdas but velocity for me every time and uh, going down the i don't oh gosh i don't know how many comments there are um 90 comments on the video but the the most commented RDA was the velocity and I think last time I did it I don't know if the velocity was out but it does seem like the velocity is the most popular RDA amongst my uh, vlog viewers so to wrap that up just to wrap that up that's roughly what's cracking off so um, moving along very very steadily uh, in the vlog what's next um, vlog topic for this vlog you can put whatever you want in the comments uh, as always of course um, but if there's anything you would like to see in this vlog please put that in the comments uh, section so not so much a vlog topic this time but just things you would like to see so after this vlog's finished think what was what was missing from this vlog what what would be a cool feature in this vlog let me know in the comments section um, please thank you very much okay so what have we got coming up for review I don't know how to put this but I'm kind of a big deal. People know me. I'm very important. Uh, I have many leather-bound books, and my apartment smells of rich mahogany. Okay, coming up for review, we have got uh, we've got a, a, a charger coming from Nightcore. Um, I think it's one of the newer ones. I've got this. I've, always, I've had this for a long time from. Uh, um, night call. What is it? Which one is it? The D2, is it? Oh, UM20. I've got the UN20 from Night Call, but Night Call themselves are sending me a charger. So I'm going to do a video showing that charger, what's good about it, and stuff. Why I recommend Night Call chargers over all chargers. Um, and going to talk about chargers in general, what to look for, what not to look for. And. Um, I'm going to do a little piece in that video about clone and fake Nightcore chargers and how to spot a clone and a fake Nightcore charger because the last thing we want is people using untested, unregulated, unofficial chargers that could cause problems, you know? So I'm going to do all that in one video. Uh, I've got the Decadent Juice line. They've got Decadent. I've produced a new juice line. It's called the Art Blend line. Uh, you've got Sundial, all in these really fancy boxes. Sundial, um, Harlequin, um, Earl's Indulgence, Carnival, Zephyr, <laughs> and finally, uh, Mandrake. Mandrake. So fancy names, fancy juices, very fancy juices. Let's not beat around the bush. Uh, I am doing, I am going to be doing, I promise you, I'm going to be doing less juice reviews, but um, Decadent Vapors are a friend of mine, they're a friend of Cloudy's, they're a friend of my podcast, and um, it's a brand new, exciting, fancy juice line from them. So I wanted to do it. I wanted to do this juice review, so I'm going to. Um, but overall, there's going to be less juice reviews on my channel. I know they're not the most popular videos I do, uh, and I'm taking that on board. Hopefully. I think I've got some stuff coming from Kafulu. They have a new um, RDTA coming out. 
They also have the Hasta V2 RDA. Now, Joe Cloudy has got one, has got them already, and he says they're quite special. So, looking forward to doing those. What I would suggest is make sure you're subscribed to Cloudy because he'll probably have the videos out first. Um, got the IPv5, don't need to keep showing you. Uh, I can give you a first impression. Um, the first impressions are the door doesn't wobble or anything, which is quite nice. You have to push it straight down to get it to go. And as you can see, it wants to snap straight back into place. The magnets are excellent. There's no wobble or rattle in the door. The case, if you like the style of the case, is absolutely rock solid metal. Um, so that's pretty 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 immense if you like that sort of thing got it quite nice matchy matchy with the support um screen i don't know how the screen will look on camera but it screens pretty good it's got this yeehee sx uh board situation going on um i'm quite enjoying the mod i haven't put it through its paces yet though vapes love it like this Stop it. Ah, system off. Okay, so uh, so that's the IPv5 coming really soon. Two more videos time or something. Uh, the IPv5, so stay tuned for that. Also got a video on this. I'm going to have a go with stainless steel flat wire. Uh, 24 gauge stainless steel flat wire. So that's quite exciting, quite interesting. See how that goes. Um... Cotton candy I've done, cotton candy I've done, big fan of that, um, so yeah, that is even more things than that coming as well, I've got, um, is it drip drop juices, um, some other bits and pieces, uh, honestly got a lot coming up, um, so stay tuned, please stay tuned, um, oh gosh, the queue is getting quite long, there is a lot coming up, there is a lot coming up for review, I promise. Right. I'm going to go to any other business. I'm going to go to an any other business section because I've got loads of knickknacks of things to show you. Um, the first one, and I don't remember if I showed these in the last vlog or not, uh, but these, these are pee bags. Pee bags from uh, Coilmaster. The great guys at Coilmaster have made these bags, and what you do is you just attach it to uh, your bell or your jeans or what have you and um, it carries a mod like in the picture carries a mod so you put your mod in let's have a do let's have a do you put your mod in like that you could carry some spare batteries in here you can carry your juice so I don't know if it'll fit this one in but it'll fit another one in it'll fit this in so you put your juice in there, put your juice in there your mod in there put whatever you want in here, coils, bat spare batteries, whatever, clip it to your belt and it doesn't take up your pocket space. Um, pretty cool. Now, I say pretty cool, I don't know how cool you will look in them, and Todd has told me he'll literally punch me in the face if he catches me wearing one. Um, however, I knew he wasn't going to be at the Yorkshire Vapor Meet, so I did take one to the Yorkshire Vapor Meet, and having one meant I had one mod in my pocket, um, one mod in here, juice in here, batteries in here, um, and then I had my phone in a pocket, my wallet in a pocket, and I didn't have to carry a bag, which uh, a vape me at a shop, you know, is ideal really, I didn't need to carry a bag all day, so maybe I looked a bit silly, I don't know, that's that's definitely down to you, but I thought it was really handy, I really like them, they're really cool, and what's more, they're really cheap, I think they're about a fiver, five, six quid, so it's not like they're taking the mickey with it, so that's quite good, that's quite impressive. Um, another thing I have to show you is, and I need to get out the RX200 for this. Yes, another thing I have to show you is uh, glass. Glass um, glazed from glass. Uh, fancy, fancy juice glazed from glass. Um, they have a brand new flavour called Glazed, um, and it is a glazed donut flavour. Now, a long time ago, quite a while ago, um, I reviewed milk from Glass, and um, I was um, very pleasantly surprised. A very, very, very tasty juice. It's high-end juice, it's not cheap, um, but, um, oh, it's always good, though. 
it's always really good so if you've got uh, deep pockets and you're not worried about the price of juice check out the new flavor from glass because it's so so good it's in here I've got it in here it's nice you know so nice it's um it reminds me of donut pounder it's got that sort of sweet uh, glazed donut affair going on um, I don't know how else to describe it really but it's tasty you can see I've had a big wodge of it already um, it's really good really good um, so maybe check that out uh, thank you to them they also sent me some t-shirts and some hats um, I, I don't wear hats I look even more ridiculous in a hat and uh, I've just sorted my hair out so so I'm not going to put those on. I'm not going to put a hat on. Uh, I look ridiculous. Maybe in the outtakes or something I'll show you my hat. Um, but yeah. Oh fine, I'll show you, I'll show you me in a hat. I mess my hair up and everything. So the problem is, it pushes my ears down. So I look like a full time Wally. The other problem is, I mean, it makes me look about 9, 10, 10 at best. Wouldn't get served in a vape shop with this hat on. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I could, put, I could try. Uh, uh, it's just not happening, is it? You know, I've, uh, I've never been able to wear baseball caps or uh, snapbacks, as they call them now. Unfortunately, I just can't. I look even more young, even more ridiculous than uh, than I already do. Um, shallow head syndrome or something. I don't know what it is. But there's something wrong there. So I can't wear hats. But thank you to Glass for sending the t-shirts, the hats and the juice on. Um, check it out. Brand new flavour from them. Also, in any other business. Um, I got this from... This sent through. Completely unexpected. I had no communication prior to receiving. Um, I got sent... This. This is from Blue. Blue Sig. Uh, blue B L U dot cut it K blue. It's this. It's the new Blue Plus kit. Um, it's a cigar-like situation. So what happens is this is an actual charging case. Um, so you can plug it into a USB and charge up the actual case, which then charges up your cigar-likes when it's in the case. This is their new and improved version of it. Um, so it looks like this. The actual cigar light looks like this. I don't I haven't seen I haven't used the previous, so I don't know if it's longer, wider, short or anything. It's pretty small. It's pretty small. Um it looks like that and um apparently all their flavors are improved. Right now on top is strawberry. Um they sent me all the flavors as well. Um comes in a box like that but they sent me cherry strawberry mint menthol and blueberry blueberry um So that's that. That's that. That's that's what happens. So it come with a, comes with a spare battery, and you can there's room for three more flavors. They're all disposable. These heads. Um, so what you do is if your battery's getting low, you swap you swap it for this one, and you, this one starts charging in the case for you. Um, or if you run out of juice in your head, you just grab one of the other heads. Uh, you can see it's sort of going a bit crazy in there now. Um, charging on the side now it's actually full but it'll realize that in a minute so this is what it vapes like they've asked me for my feedback um, what I would say is where do you start? 
Where do you start? I would say that this won't appeal to current vapors. It may appeal to smokers, which is probably their target market. The reason it won't appeal to vapors is it doesn't have enough vapor production or flavor. Um, now, I don't know what the amp rating, the maximum continuous amp rating of these batteries are, but if possible, if they could lower the ohms a touch, if it's within the safety of the battery, if they could lower the ohms a touch, crank up the heat a little bit, crank up the power, you know, by, by lowering the ohms, um, maybe get a bit more vapor production and a bit more flavor as a result. Um, maybe a tiny bit more airflow. Um, so that's that's my honest feedback. The vast of my feedback. That's my honest feedback. Uh, I think the case is quite natty. Um, I think it's quite pocketable and and quite cool the way the actual packaging works and is a charger and all that and on the go and carries various heads and things. All that is quite natty, quite cool. Um, I think it needs to pump out slightly higher wattage now I don't know if that's possible with the battery size that they use but that's just how I feel about it I won't be doing a standalone video on this because um, I'm not a massive fan of the company and uh, and that's that's all I have to say that is all I have to say about that um, make it your own minds read my body language and and all that um, so that is all I have to say about that now okay so what we'll do now is we will throw to the Yorkshire vape meat uh, I went to Leeds I went to uh, the Yorkshire vapor store it is a uh, first birthday of the Yorkshire vapor juice line and so they had a vape meat in their vape shop uh, so we'll cut to that video now see you after the video all right guys I don't know where to look, where am I looking, where's the camera? I don't know, I never know though, I never seem to know, anyway. Um, on the way to the Yorkshire Vapor meet, I'm going to do like a little vlog, going to try and capture some footage if possible. Um, so, in the car, about to set off, I'll show you some fancy driving footage if I can, if I can manage how to do it. Um, and uh, I'll show you some snaps and a little bit of vid from, uh, from the meet, if I manage to do it. Uh, wish me luck, see you soon. Okay, so that was the vape meat. It is time to give something away. Let's just pull up who was the previous winner. Let's just remember, try and remember who the previous winner was. Um, Chris Wright was the winner of the previous giveaway congratulations to him if you're not Chris Wright I sincerely apologize but uh, if you are well done congratulations drop me an email let me know you got the package um, if you haven't already I can't remember um, drop me another one 
just to make sure you got it okay. Um, so let's give something else away. Okay, I've just reviewed the Panda V12. In the video I showed that I had a spare one, a stainless steel one, uh, which I used for the up close section. This is the Panda V12 sub ohm clearizer from Mod Vapor. Um, had its pros and its cons, um, but there it is in all its glory. Um, yeah, so um, if you win this, don't forget to wash that because <laughs> it's covered in machine oil. Um, the other thing you will win is the iSub S, the Flavors and Clouds edition, which comes with a 0.5 Canthal head and a 0.5 Clapton head. Um, inside the packaging, iSub S, my favorite sub ohm clearizer currently in the world. Um, so those are the two. Two things, the two things I'm giving away in this giveaway. Uh, to win, you need to email me, cd underscore vic at hotmail.com, and you need to put giveaway 28. Um, fucking, yes, giveaway 28. Put giveaway 28 in the title um, or subject of the email. In the body, put your name and address and. Uh, the answer to this question, who makes the Panda V12 sub ohm clearizer? Um, who who makes that? Uh, so put the name of the company that makes it, your name and address in the body, email to cd underscore emails in the description, uh, and put giveaway 28. Okay, so that's the giveaway stuff. So we'll now cut to um, I'm sorry about this vlog, it's a bit higgle-piggle, I'm a bit uh, stressed. Um, so you will now cut to the uh, real life section. Here's a montage of what I've been up to in real life. See you in a sec. <laughs> Okay, that was the real life uh, s section montage. Now I know how my phone works, how my camera works. I think those are looking a bit better now. I think that was quite good. Um, uh, so I, I quite like that. I quite like that feature. Um, and I like throwing those in. And it's a really convenient way of showing you what's been going on. So I'm trying to photograph more things that I'm doing. Um, trying to just be more active with my phone and therefore hopefully those montages will just get better and better. I'm sorry about the music that's in them. It's just... Um, royalty free crap songs that I just happen to have that are, that are YouTube like approved um, so so that's why the, the, the songs are rubbish that's why it's not Kanye West's latest track or something I don't know um, so that is that uh, previously reviewed items it's been a bit slow hasn't it it's been a bit slow on the channel loads of random stuff loads of juice and stuff and all that um, one thing I reviewed was the Aura Mini. Spent the entire video calling it the Aurora Mini, uh, which is a sub ohm clearizer, um, amongst other things. Um, but it's the Aura Mini. The Aura Mini from Vape Only. Um, and it vapes like this. I haven't used it for a little bit, so it's got a bit wet. When it's not flooded, it is actually a really nice vape. I was really impressed with it as a starter kit. Um, 
I think it's, as a starter kit, I think it's actually very good and it uses very nice coil heads that vape very well and I think for a starter kit, it's, I, rec I think it's really good. Right up there with all the best starter kits in my opinion. The Fu Chai, I love for how I vape. Um, it's not great over 150 watts and it's not great in temperature mode but I love how it vapes, how I vape. 70 watts, 0.35 canthal coils. I think it's brilliant. I honestly just think it's a brilliant mod for the price for what I need it to do. Um, also the Endless Clouds RDA. Um, still quite enjoying it, still quite enjoying it. Um, what I would say is it's getting very tarnished um, and a couple of times when I've cleaned out the inside it's got a bit of residue on it so I don't know if it's the purest of pure brass. Um, I would recommend the other colours of this but for a 24mm cloud blowing RDA I actually think it's very good. Okay what else have I reviewed? Oh the Mod Vapper. The Mod Vapper Panda uh, V12 little clue for the giveaway there and um, and the box ETC um, the sub amp clearomizer is almost really good but the heads let it down slightly because the heads seem to flood too easily it wicks too fast this clearomizer and that's a problem watch a review if you want to see my full thoughts but uh, it's got a couple of little gremlins that's just spoil it from being a really, really solid clearomizer, but it's almost a very good clearomizer. Um, the box, the box etc. As I just said with the Fu Chai, um, a lot of people jumped on this review. I did a dry burn test on the review, and it failed the dry burn test. Fair enough, okay. Um, it failed the dry burn test. Um, if you put juice on it, though, it does seem to work a lot better. And a lot of people jumped on it. A lot of people said, "Oh, it failed the dry burn test. Throw it in the bin." Um, I don't vape in temp mode, so that is only one aspect of this mod that is slightly flawed. Um, as a wattage device, it's solid, good screen, good screen, uh, nice size, uh, hits the power it's saying it's going to hit, it's not underpowered at all, um, very comfortable to use, nice buttons, um, it's all, it's, the, it seems a very efficient chip, you know, it seems to hold its charge well uh, for a eight, single 18650 mod. Uh, so I don't think it's a bad mod at all. Uh, I don't know if I got that across well enough in the video. Um, but I actually think it's alright. Um, it's just that it's not great in temper mode. Which can be said for a lot of cheap regulated devices, you know. So um, that's how I feel about that. And if you do everything right, it does blow... It does chuck tits, you know, it does chuck tits if you get it all working correctly. Um, so, uh, a bit of a higgledy-piggledy vlog. Um, sorry about that. Uh, a bit of a long one as well. It's turned out to be a bit rambly. I had all that stuff to show you uh, and stuff. Um, so, yes. So, apologies if this uh, vlog has seemed a bit um, anarchic. But um, it's just how it's panned out. So much going on at the moment. Um... But having said all that, thank you for your support, thank you for watching, good luck with the giveaway, um, loads of things coming up for review so please stay tuned uh, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching, see you soon, bye.